Tressel's well-loved because he's beaten Michigan almost every single year that he's led the Buckeyes. On the flip side, it seems that people are always talking about Rick Rodriguez's job security at Michigan. One big reason is that he's never beaten Ohio State. Some consider it the best rivalry in all of American sports. It's Michigan and Ohio State, although as of late, it has been all Jim Tressel and the Buckeyes just dominant. You see two black quarterbacks starting in the Michigan OSU game. First time that's happened since 1974. How about running back Mike Shaw? Gets the handoff, breaks some tackles. This is in the first quarter. That's a 39-yard pickup. Later on in the possession, third and 17 for Denard Robinson. Drops back, sees a hole, says he's going to take it. However, right near the first down line, he loses the ball, picked up by Nathan Williams on the nine-yard line. There was no score in the first quarter. Second quarter, Buckeyes have added a field goal. It's third and six OSU. They're driving. Here's Terrell Pryor. Gets blitz off the corner. He's going to roll right, roll back, turn around, go the other way. Watch him almost step out of bounds, but find Torian Washington for a 13-yard pickup. Pryor threw for 220 on the day, which included a pass right here. First score to Dane Sonsenbacher. Buckeyes lead 10-zip early on. Michigan's next possession. They drive far. First and goal. Mike Shaw, he'll get the touchdown. Wolverines cut that deficit to just 10-7, to but that would be as close as they get because when they scored, they then kicked the ball off, and they kicked it to the wrong guy. Jordan Hall, strong last name. Those Halls, they're really good. That's an 85-yard return for a score. Ohio State up 17-7. to Michigan's next drive. That's a fourth and eight. No field goal for them. They got to go for it. Nope. Incomplete to Roy Roundtree. So the Buckeyes take over. Look at it again, though. Robinson gets hit by Adam Bellamy. Rich Rodriguez said he dislocated finger on his non-throwing hand. He didn't return that first half. So Ohio State's ball. That's Terrell Pryor giving it off to DeVere Posey. Who dives for the score? 24-7 OSU in their throwback uniforms at the break. In the second half, that's Tate Forcier coming on in. First play. Man. Travis Howard intercepts Tate's first chance to throw it. OSU capitalizes right away. Hand it off to Boom Heron. Why not? Can this guy run or what? 175 yards on the day. 32 of them right there. OSU wins it 37-7. And an easy one for them as they've now won seven in a row in the series. They also tie a Big Ten record with their sixth consecutive league title, won or shared. How about Jim Tressel, 29-4 in November at OSU, 9-1 and one now against Michigan while the head coach of the Buckeyes. Rick Pizzo after the game caught... Ohio State quarterback Terrell Pryor and four other Buckeyes must sit out the first five games of the 2011 season for accepting improper benefits. None suspended for the Buckeyes' January 4th Sugar Bowl game against Arkansas. The NCAA announcing the suspensions earlier today, shortly before school athletic director Gene Smith and coach Jim Tressel were meeting with reporters to discuss the university's investigation of players trading autographs for tattoos. Pryor. Some of the Michigan players getting in there and pushing other Wolverines saying, let's not lose our cool. Well, you don't like that, but one thing it can do, and I've been party to this.